Good evening, everybody. Happy Monday. I'm Chris Raggi. And I'm Christine Johnson. Well, it was anything but a fair fight. A New York City police officer and three others accused in a vicious baseball bat beating. Uh, the victim speaking exclusively to CBS2 from his bedside, and he says pure hatred was at the very heart of this attack. CBS2's Jennifer McLogan live in East Meadow with more for us this evening. Jennifer? Investigators say a man who may have been panhandling outside a Long Island deli was beaten by a New York City police officer and three others who hurled racial slurs at the victim, who tonight remains hospitalized here. They call In this CBS2 exclusive interview from his hospital bed, 52-year-old Daryl Jackson insists the men who surrounded him in front of this deli in Roosevelt, Long Island, yelled racial slurs as they pummeled him with fists and a baseball bat. Tonight, police have arrested four men in the vicious assault, among them a New York City police officer. The other suspects are all members of the Vargas family who operate the Roosevelt Deli. The off-duty NYPD officer involved, Juan Nunez of Freeport, is assigned to the 101st Precinct in Queens. His mother and a female officer came to court to support him. So it was defense? No. They were what? All of the males who were the subjects of the assault are of Hispanic descent. During the assault, one, of the, one or more of the subjects shouted racial epithets and slurs at the victim. Nezzo's police commissioner said although the heinous crime was tinged with hateful speech, race was not the impetus behind the assault. The motivating factor behind this may have been the desire to move this man from the front of the store it was not initially based upon his race, creed, or religion. The law is very specific. A passerby, David Tillery, credited with saving the life of the victim, scared off the attackers. He was honored today as a good Samaritan by the town of Hempstead, where he works. I, I know what I've heard. You know, the man, he knows what he heard, and it, it was, indeed, it was hate. You know, it was definitely biased. Inside the deli, other members of the Vargas family told me they've been part of the Roosevelt African-American community for years and questioned the motivation behind the victim's accusation of bias, claiming the fight began with the victim punching one of the family members. Officer Nunez, on the force since 2001, pleaded not guilty to assault. Bail was set at 40000 The NYPD has suspended him from his post. Meanwhile, the victim here at the hospital is recovering from head, neck, and back injuries and has hired a lawyer. We're live at the Nassau University Medical Center. I'm Jennifer McLogan, CBS2 News.